Hi everyone, I'm Nadia Hassan. I'm an artist, designer, and gift wrap enthusiast. I'm gonna walk you through how to make dimensional gift tags, Danish stars, and paper diamonds using smooth wallpaper from Spoonflower. For these projects, you'll need a pair of scissors, a ruler for making templates or measuring directly onto your paper, a bone folder for reinforcing folds and creating sharp creases, the back of a butter knife makes a decent substitute, three, four, and five inch square templates, I highly recommend some sort of quick dry glue, a pencil, a hole punch, clear bead cord and a sewing needle, cardstock or chipboard for tags. I love to use upcycled pattern tissue boxes for this. And most importantly, you'll need smooth wallpaper from Spoonflower. It is the perfect paper for these projects. It's flexible, but also thick enough to hold its shape. All the designs I'm working with are my own, and you can find them in my Spoonflower shop if you want to use them too. Let's get started with dimensional gift tags. These are so easy to make, which is why I'm starting with them first, but since they use very small pieces of paper, you may want to wait until you have scraps left over for making the other projects in this tutorial. In theory, you can use any symmetrical shape. I'm just demonstrating with trees because they are super simple and super cute. Start with a piece of wallpaper slightly smaller than your tag. Fold it in half lengthwise with the pattern sides facing. Make sure your crease is extra sharp. Make one diagonal cut to create a tall, narrow triangle. Check it against your tag and make adjustments if necessary. Once you're satisfied with your tree shape, use it as a template to cut out a second triangle. Glue the flat triangle to the tag. Put a thin line of glue along the crease of the folded triangle. Gently place it in the center of the triangle that you've already glued down. Adorable gift tag accomplished. Next up, we have Danish stars. I am using a four inch piece of paper for this demonstration. The completed star directly above the paper is made with this four inch template, and to the left and right, our star is made with a three inch template. All right, let's dive in. With the blank sides facing, fold the paper in half diagonally. Score your crease to make sure it's nice and crisp. Repeat that fold along the other diagonal. Turn the paper over so that the patterned side is facing you and fold it in half. Repeat that fold on the other side. With the blank side facing you, cut a little less than halfway through each of the straight folds. You can see there I almost cut on the diagonal. Do not do that. And I say use the blank side because it's a little easier to see where the folds are. Those cuts will leave you with eight little flaps and you'll want to take each flap, fold it towards the center, so fold it towards the diagonal crease. If you find that you've made your cuts a little too deep, it's not going to hurt anything and if they're too shallow, you'll notice that when you go to fold the flaps, they don't quite reach all the way, 
So just take your scissors and make that cut a little bit deeper. In order to give the star shape its dimensionality, we're going to glue the flaps together. I'm just going to demonstrate with one because it's not very exciting to watch. Once you've glued all the flaps and let it dry, you get to do all of that over again because you need two pieces to create your finished Danish star. Once you have your two finished pieces, place a dot of glue in each corner. Place the other star on top as shown here and admire your work. To make the paper diamonds, I'm using a 5 inch piece of paper for this demonstration and shown here are also diamonds made with a 4 inch piece of paper. Begin by folding the blank sides together along the diagonal. Repeat that same fold along the other diagonal. Fold the paper in half with the blank sides facing each other and repeat that fold a second time along the other half. Grab the paper with both hands on either side of the diagonal fold and push each half toward the other. You should be left with one closed end and one open end. Working from the closed end, fold the corner flaps up toward the middle. Flip the paper over and repeat this process on the other side. Cut the ends off using the folds you just made as a guide. Rotate the paper so that the closed pointed end is up and the open end is facing you. You now have two flaps in front of you. Hold one flap down and open the other flap and turn it inside out. This is a little tricky and it might take a few times to get it right. Once you've got it mastered, do it again for the other flap. Flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. So now you have the sort of triangle accordion shape with one closed end and one open end. This time working from the open end, fold the corners up toward the middle. Fold the top flaps up to get them out of your way and repeat that process with the next layer down. Flip the paper over and repeat those steps on this side. Okay, here's the best part. We're going to undo all of that hard work you just did by gently unfolding everything. Take this umbrella shape and fold the points back under along the creases that are already there. Once I've done that, I like to carefully squish all the folds back together just to reinforce this, the creases and make sure everything stays where it's supposed to. If you've made it this far, congratulations, you are halfway done. You may have noticed these diamonds have two sides, so you get to do all that over again to make the second side. Once you have both pieces, it's time to glue them together, matching the peaks on one piece with the valleys on the other. You only need to glue one of the pieces, but you want to make sure you put glue in each little section. Getting the perfect fit takes a little bit of finessing. I like to put the two halves together to get like an approximate fit, let the glue dry a little bit, and then go back and kind of like work each um, spot so that it's like perfectly aligned or as perfectly as you can get it.
In order to create a hanging loop for your stars and your diamonds, you can use clear bead cord and a sewing needle. Just take your needle, thread it, and then push it very gently through one of the creases towards the top of, in this case, the diamond. Push it downward. Do not push it through. You don't want to stab yourself with the needle. Once the needle is in, gently poke it against the inside of the opposite crease until you find the right spot. Once you've found the right spot, go ahead and push it all the way through. You may need to use a little bit of extra care when trying to get the eye of the needle to come out. You may feel a little bit of resistance and need to sort of gently wiggle it to get it free. From there, just cut your thread and tie it off with a simple knot. The length is up to you. I like to leave maybe an inch and a half to two inches of loop. The process is the same for the Danish star. The only thing that's different is the location. I just pick whichever point I want to be the top, and that's where I um, put the needle and thread. I'm so glad you joined me for this tutorial and I hope it leads to lots of happy making and gifting. Happy holidays everyone!